Ha folks, listen. If you watch this video, you will learn how to keep your mind in the right place. And also, you'll learn how to keep God first place in your life. And you'll also learn how to fight off the devil too. Hope this video helps you never thank me. And when I was present with you and wanted, I was chargeable to no man. For that which was lacking to me, the brethren which came from Macedonia supplied. And in all things, I have kept myself from being burdensome unto you, and so will I keep myself. As the truth of Christ is in me, no man shall stop me of this boasting in the regions of Achaia. Wherefore, because I love you not, God knoweth. But what I do, that I will do, that I may cut off occasion from them which desire occasion, that wherein they glory they may be found even as we. For such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light, Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. I say again, let no man... But they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah saith, Lord, who hath believed our report? So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. But I say, have they not heard? Folks, here here are one well here are two more reasons why we should pray to want to read the Bible every day. If you're visually impaired like me and if you have an Xbox One here uh, when you read the Bible every day, after you're done reading the Bible for at least one hour, I recommend two, you can ask the Lord to make it so that they will have a good Bible app on your favorite Xbox One or gaming console or your PC. That way, that way, when your devices are going dead or, or on charge, you can still read the Bible whenever you want. So that is one more reason to read the Bible. Hope this helps. Don't thank me. Folks, folks, listen. I am at home right now at the time I made this awesome video but I was thinking no matter how much storage you have on the devices that you take with you when you travel anytime anywhere for any reason if you travel unwillingly one way to occupy your time is to ask the Lord to make you unable to forget to clear your storage on your devices and also to read Romans 10 with Matthew 6 and 7 and when you ask him that also ask him to make you want to read your Bible and also Matthew Matthew 22 says one of the most important commandments is to love your neighbor as yourself and Luke 6 says to love your enemies, be good to them, do good to them, live to them, and be, and be not concerned. Be not concerned that they might not repay. So, one other one other good thing to do is when you travel, when you travel uh, against your will, one awesome way to occupy your time is to ask the Lord to make you unable to hate your enemies or anyone else. Hope this helps. Oh yeah, and also, and also, ask him to make you want to read the Bible as much as possible. Hope this helps. Don't thank me. Folks, here are some other awesome reasons. Here are some more awesome reasons to read the Bible. Number one, if you read the Bible for two hours straight every day, and if you pray to want to read it for two hours straight every day after you're done reading it for at least two hours or even one hour you can ask the Lord for privacy whenever you need it or want it number two is 
you can ask the Lord to make you unable to act like a hypocrite. And also, you could ask him to make all reasons to act like a hypocrite to end. I hope this helps you never thank me. Would you please repeat that? I said the only thing I do is just ask the Lord, the Lord to make the devil leave me alone every day. So I can just praise him. So folks, that is another awesome reason to ask the Lord to make you unable to want to do anything else except read the Bible for one hour or two hours every day. I recommend two or three. Never thank me. Thank you. Hmm. Unto yourselves, lest ye forget the covenant of the Lord your God, which he made that I must die in this land. I must not go over Jordan, but ye shall go over and possess that good land. Take heed unto yourselves, lest ye forget the covenant of the Lord your God, which he made with you, and make you a graven image, or the likeness of anything which the Lord thy God hath forbidden thee. For the Lord thy God is a consuming fire, even a jealous God. When thou shalt beget children, and children's children, and ye shall have remained long in the land, and shall corrupt yourselves, and make a graven image, or the likeness of anything, and shall do evil in the sight of the Lord thy God to provoke him to anger. I call heaven and earth to witness against you this day, that ye shall soon utterly perish from off the land whereunto ye go over Jordan to possess it. Ye shall not prolong your days upon it, but shall utterly be destroyed, and the Lord shall scatter you among the nations, and ye shall be... For thou shalt worship no other god, for the Lord whose name is Jealous is a jealous God. Submit yourselves therefore to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. God, and an apostle of Jesus Christ, according to the faith of God's elect, and the acknowledging of the truth which is after godliness, in hope of eternal life, which God, that cannot lie, promised before the world began, but hath in due times manifested his word through preaching, which is committed unto me according to the commandment of God our Savior. To and when he had fasted forty days and forty nights, he was afterward and hungered. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Then the devil taketh him up into the holy city. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. And forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. For if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if ye forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Give not that which is holy unto the dogs, neither cast ye your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under their feet, and turn again and rend you. Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For every one that asketh, receiveth. And he that seeketh, findeth. And to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. Or what man is there of you whom if his son ask bread, will he give him a stone? Or if he ask a fish, will he give him a serpent? If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your Father, which is in heaven, give good things to them that ask him? Therefore all things, whatsoever ye would that men should do to you, do ye even so to them. 
for this is the law and the prophets. Enter ye in at the straight gate. Folks, folks, listen. One more awesome reason to read the Bible is this. John 8 says, Satan, who is also called the devil, is a liar and the father of lies. One more reason to read the Bible is to ask God to make you unable to believe the devil's lies from now on. Hope this video helps you. No need to thank me. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. And when I was present with you and wanted, I was chargeable to no man. For that which was lacking to me, the brethren which came from Macedonia supplied. And in all things, I have kept myself from being burdensome unto you, and so will I keep myself. As the truth of Christ is in me, no man shall stop me of this boasting in the regions of Achaia. Wherefore, because I love you not, God knoweth. But what I do, that I will do, that I may cut off occasion from them which desire occasion. That wherein they glory, they may be found even as we. For such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. I say again, let no man... Folks, folks, I only recommend doing this after you read at least one hour of the Bible, after you read the Bible for at least one hour. Mm -hmm. But folks, listen, after you have read the, the Bible for one hour or two hours, I recommend two hours, but I, but I really think it's best that if you, I really think it is best after you read the Bible for one hour at least, I recommend that you don't do this until you've read the Bible for at least one hour, wow. but I recommend two. Folks, after, after you've read, after you've read the Bible for one hour or two, you can ask the Lord for privacy whenever you want and or need it. Right. You can ask Him for privacy at any time you want it. Listen, folks. Whenever you read the Bible for t for an hour or two, after after you read the Bible for an hour or two, here's how to do it. Just say, just just ask Him. Just say something like this. Say something like this. You don't have to say exactly the words I use. I'm just giving you. Right. I'm just giving you um, an an example. Just say something like this. After you've read an hour or two of the Bible, say say, Lord, would you please give me privacy whenever I need it or want it, under every circumstance, folks. Pardon me if I burp. <laughs> Lord, please give me understanding through all circumstances. Hang on, hang on, Weena. Uh, hang on, hang on, folks. Would you would you repeat that? Lord, will you please give me understanding through all circumstances? I want to do what you want me to do. I want to live by you and your words and my heart. I want you to tell me everything I need to do right. And if I start to do something wrong, just correct me, and I'll tell that old devil to get away and leave me alone. Folks, folks, I also I also recommend that you ask the Lord to make you want to do that. But anyway, as I was saying, after you read the Bible for an hour or two, just ask the Lord in 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 advance. Ask him for privacy whenever you want and or need it. No matter no matter what reason you need or want privacy. Although if you're like me, Whenever I want to pray about a secret, I don't want people hearing me. I don't want them seeing me. I don't want people anywhere near me. So that is so that <clears throat> so that is one reason that you should ask for privacy, in my opinion. And also that is one more reason why you should read the Bible. And like I said earlier earlier in in this video, Romans ten seventeen says, "Faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the Lord's word." Never thank me. I hope this helps.
Yeah. Folks, folks, listen. One more awesome reason to read the Bible is is after you read it for an hour or two, every day when you're watching TV and or Netflix or whatever you watch. Pardon me if I burp. <laughs> You can ask you can ask the Lord to make you want to talk to him when you're watching whatever you watch. Although I I don't recommend you do this when you're watching a when you're watching a movie in a movie theater or at a live concert that you're watching away from home. Hope this helps. No need to thank me. Folks, folks, I just thought of one more awesome reason to read the Bible. After you read it for a couple hours, you can ask the Lord to give you prophecy and also ask him to make other people unable to be mad when you when you ask God for a prophecy. Hope this helps. No need to thank me. Folks listen, sometimes sometimes when I needed prophecy and I wanted to turn my well sometimes when I when I've gotten prophecy I've turned my phone's ringer off, but the problem is half the time whenever I turn it off, sometimes I forget to turn it back on. Well, folks, that is one more awesome reason to read the Bible. Whenever you read the Bible for a couple hours, you can ask God for privacy, and you can also ask him to make you unable to forget to turn the ringer off. I mean, I mean back on if you turn it off. Hope this helps. No need to thank me. Folks, folks, here is one more awesome reason to read the Bible every day. We know that whosoever is born of God sinneth not, that he that is begotten of God keepeth himself, and that wicked one toucheth him not. And we know that we are of God, and the whole world lieth in wickedness. And we know that the Son of God is come, and hath given us an understanding, that we may know him that is true. And we and folks, the reason that that is an awesome reason is because that is just one more reason why we need to ask God to make us unable to forget to ask Him to make us want to read the Bible every day. Because Romans 10 says, Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Lord's Word. Thank you. No need to thank me. Never thank me. No. That is a big no-no thanking me. And ye masters, do the same things unto them, forbearing threatening, knowing that your master also is in heaven, neither is there respect of persons with him. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Stand, therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And take the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. And for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may... Heavenly Father, I forgive those that have sinned against me. I confess my sins. Would you make me and every Christian unable to think about anything else when they read their Bible? Let the only exception be when we think about asking you to make us want to, want to read our Bible for one hour or two, if not more. I ask this for myself and every Christian in, in, in Jesus' holy name. Folks, never thank me. 
Folks, here is one more very important reason for you to ask God to make you want to read your Bible every day. When I was watching a video just before I made this part of the video, the video I was watching talked about the Lord's return and the signs in the skies. My wonderful caregiver, Wida Stumbo, she got three or four phone calls and whenever whenever I'm doing something and phones ring that really gets on my nerves sometimes it makes me want to cuss so folks this is one important reason to read the Bible when you read the Bible you should ask the Lord to make you want to pray that you won't cuss and also if you use your iPhone to read the Bible you should turn the phone off I mean turn the ringer off not the phone but you should turn the ringer off while you read the Bible and also while you, while you're reading the Bible you should ask the Lord to make you unable to forget to turn the ringer back on after you're done reading the Bible so those are some very important reasons to read the Bible I hope this helps you never thank me